Hey guys, so it seems like this week is news week because a few days ago, images of the new 2020 Series 2 LEGO Harry Potter CMF line have been revealed. However, they were leaked so I couldn't really cover them on my channel. Now that it's finally safe to cover them, as Brickset has revealed them on their website, it's about time that I posted a video on them on my channel. Anyway, like I said before, Brickset has officially posted on them and the link to their article will be in the description down below. Funny enough, the figures were found in stores all over Romania, which is really odd, but really cool nonetheless, as we can see a little sneak peek of it before it gets officially released on September 1st, 2020. We are getting a brand new Bellatrix the Strange figure in her super cool Azkaban outfit and a really, really awesome Azkaban sign. <laughs> We're going to start off from the first figure up until the 16th. So we have Harry Potter with his advanced potions book, Dumbledore with Fox, Hermione, Ron, Luna with her super cute and adorable lion hat. I love it so much. We also have the goblin, which goes by the name Griphook, with the sword of Gryffindor, which looks super cool. And then we have Lily Potter with Baby Potter, <laughs> I guess. And then we have James Potter with a family portrait, Ginny Weasley with some ice cream. We have Fred with a cute little winter hat and winter coat. And then we have George with the Marauder's Map. And then we have my personal, personal favorite, the first figure that I'm gonna go hunting for, Bellatrix the Strange with her Azkaban outfit. Yay! And then we have Kingsley Shacklebot, and he looks really unique and cool. Really happy that Lego finally made him in Lego form. And then we have Moaning Myrtle with Tom Riddle's diary. She looks really cool and she opens up so many doors for future ghosts to be made in the future. And then we have the Herbology Professor. And last but not least, we have Neville Longbottom with the Monsters Book of Monsters. Overall, my thoughts on the wave is that it looks super, super, super amazing. I am definitely going to be hunting for them all as soon as they release here in Canada, hopefully September 1st, 2020. I'll be going over all of the minifigs in detail in an upcoming comparison video, so be on the lookout for that. And the first figure that I'll be feeling for is Bellatrix the Strange, like I said before. And yeah, anyways, what do you guys think? Which figure out of the second wave is your favorite and which one will you be hunting for first? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.